Now we're learning more tonight about an arson investigation in Fall River. It was a dramatic scene, first breaking here on Eyewitness News Live at 5 on Friday as flames destroyed one home and damaged two others nearby. Now the community is coming to the aid of the 14 families affected by that fire as police try to track down that person who started it. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live from Fall River with the latest developments. Mike and Susan, we know that the police have a person of interest, but we don't know yet who that person is. And as police continue to investigate, the community and local agencies have come out in full force to help the people who used to live here. Around 4 o'clock on Friday, flames tore through three houses on Hood Street in Fall River. 14 families now homeless are trying to pick up the pieces. Furniture, pictures, wedding pictures, everything. Everything. Gone. Thomas Throw owns the middle property that crumbled as the fire raged. They believe it started somewhere on the front porch, and that's all I know. On Monday, he and other fire victims met with state and local agencies that are helping fire victims with their immediate needs, like housing, food, and clothing. I really don't know where we're heading from here on. So I'm just hoping that everybody's been helpful. So I know they'll help us find a place and 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 get my kids as settled as they can. The Red Cross tells us the organization is assisting 20 people, including seven children under the age of seven. State lawmakers are even offering prescription assistance for people who lost medication in the fire. It was hard, but, you know, I have faith in God. He's looking over us and that he'll help us and help all the families. Investigators say the fire was arson. They tell us they have a person of interest and they're offering a $5,000 reward for information about the incident. Coming up new at, at 6, we'll tell you how firefighters' wives banded together to help the victims of that fire with the Southeastern Massachusetts, mo excuse me, Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.